On behalf of the Minor Issues and Gerontology Committee, I would like to congratulate Dr. Keith Whitfield on receiving this prestigious award. Given his contributions to the field of gerontology through his scholarship, service, leadership, and mentorship, it is no surprise to us that Dr. Whitfield is being honored with this award. His research contributions to the field of gerontology in the area of minority aging, health inequities, and but most notably to the study of the African-American population is long-standing, continuous, and very impressive. Dr. Whitfield's contributions to the field of aging research are quite unmatched. His research on health and psychosocial factors has made key contributions to improving our understanding of the complex relationships between cognitive impairment, mental, and physical health. Dr. Whitfield's work is transdisciplinary and has inspired many scholars to think outside the box. We collaborated on a project focused on Latino aging and health that benefited greatly from his intellect and practical insights. In addition to his scholarship, Dr. Whitfield has demonstrated a deep commitment to mentoring and supporting junior scholars studying aging. He has served as faculty for institutes and conferences, including many annual meetings of the GSA. His dedication to mentoring junior researchers has been recognized by the GSA, including the 2007 Leadership Award from the GSA Task Force on Minor Issues, the 2010 Distinguished Mentor Award, and 2015 Minor Issues in Gerontology Committee Outstanding Mentorship Award. But perhaps most telling of his distinguished career is his gerontological generativity. Beyond his own research agenda, Dr. Whitfield has co-authored papers with more than 30 graduate students and postdoctoral fellows, many of whom have gone on to attain prominent academic positions. Dr. Whitfield is an exemplary and exceptional scholar, mentor, and leader in the field of aging research. He has inspired and made a difference for all of us. Dr. Whitfield, congratulations on receiving this much-deserved prestigious award. I am thrilled that Dr. Whitfield received this coveted award. Keith, congratulations. This is such a well-deserved recognition of your leadership and significant accomplishments. Way to go. Journeys always start with the first step. I was a minority biomedical research assistant at the College of Santa Fe, and I met Jeff Elias. He came during a visit, and I think that he saw something in me something raw, something not yet developed. And over the next few years in graduate school with Jeff, I took an unconventional route, but I found my passion for science. I found my interest in pursuing questions others didn't. But I had training in cognition, health, quantitative genetics, topics not typically studied or studied together in African Americans. I was passionate about understanding more about each of these because I saw so little or nothing on the topics, and I knew that they were interconnected. At Penn State University, I started a program of research that focused on African Americans. I was also blessed to have Jared Joe believe in me and support my funding of my first R01 to do one of the first in-person studies of African American twins. Along the way, I attended the NIA Summer Institute in 1992 and it changed my life. It super accelerated my passion for research, but also how mentorship with peers made a difference. I'm quite humbled by how blessed I've been. I've had opportunities to travel the world giving talks, doing research projects, to talk to some of the smartest people in the field and be part of the careers of some of the most talented junior scholars I know. After all those adventures, never in a million years did I ever dream I'd receive this incredible honor. I wanna thank everyone who helped me to get to this point in my career. From Jerry McLaren, to Linda Burton, to James Jackson, to Roland Thorpe, to Christopher Edwards, to George Reebok, to Richard Hodas, Freeman Rabowski, Fox Whittle, the people I already mentioned and many more that I don't have time to mention. Thanks again to June Kwok, to Jackie Onhill, and all those who nominated me. Thanks for helping me on a journey to get here today.